Working in a chemistry lab means handling all sorts of chemicals, each with its own risks. That's why it is crucial to understand these hazards and know how to manage them safely. To help with this, manufacturers, suppliers, and labs document everything you need to know about a chemical using something called a safety data sheet, or SDS. So, what is an SDS? It is essentially a guide that provides key information about a chemical, its properties, hazards, how to handle and store it, and what to do in case of an emergency. Before using any chemical, take a moment to review its SDS. This will help you understand the risks associated with the substance and know how to safely dispose of it later. It is also a good idea to note the important details in your lab notebook so you have them on hand while working. Keeping yourself informed is one of the best ways to ensure the safety of you and your fellow lab mates. While preparing your lab notebook for the next week's experiments, you notice that you will use KOH, a chemical you have never worked with before. What should you do? The best way to prepare for working with a new chemical is to start by reviewing its safety data sheet. This will help you get familiar with the chemical hazards and the proper handling procedures before you even step into the lab. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to double check with your instructor during the lab. Now, let's talk about how to look for the SDS for a given chemical compound. Most chemical manufacturers have an online database that compile SDSs for various chemicals. Some widely used databases include those of Fisher Scientific and Sigma Aldrich. You can access these resources through this website. To search for the SDS of the target chemical, simply input its name in the search bar. Since manufacturers often produce multiple sizes and purities of potassium hydroxide, you might see a long list of results. However, most will be linked to the same safety data sheet. Just click on one and confirm it's the right SDS by checking the identification section. In this case, we have potassium hydroxide, which is exactly what we need to look for. While reading the SDS, there are a few key sections to focus on. First, review the hazard identification section to understand the risks associated with the chemical. Pay attention to the signal word, which indicates the level of risk. Danger is used for severe hazards, while warning signals less severe risks. The hazard statements explain the specific dangers posed by the chemical. For potassium hydroxide, the signal word is danger, indicating a high hazard level and it can cause severe skin burns and eye damage. Next, we should review the first aid measures section. While many chemical exposures follow general first aid steps, like rinsing the skin under running water for 15 minutes, some chemicals require special measures. For example, if potassium hydroxide comes into contact with your skin, you need to wash it off immediately with soap and water. Since soap isn't always recommended for other chemical exposures, this is an important detail to note. Why is it important to be informed of the first aid measure before working with the chemical? Select all that apply. The next section to look at is the handling and storage section, which includes important safety reminders. For example, potassium hydroxide must be handled with full PPE and in a chemical fume hood. When not in use, the container must be kept tightly closed. Therefore, we must always cap the reagent bottle once we are done using it. The following section, Exposure Controls and Personal Protection, outlines the required PPE when handling the chemical. While potassium hydroxide doesn't require any special PPE beyond the basics, a lab coat, goggles, and nitrile gloves, some chemicals might need additional protection, like heavy-duty rubber gloves or respirators. Always check this section carefully, especially when working with new chemicals. The last section we should check is the disposal considerations, which tells us how to safely dispose of the chemical. If it is considered as hazardous waste, like potassium hydroxide, then it should never be poured down the drain. 
we should follow the instruction and dispose of it in the designated waste container. Which section of the SDS should you refer to if you want to know the risks and hazards associated with the chemical? Which section of the SDS should you refer to if you want to know the required PPE while using a chemical? Now that you know what to look for in an SDS, it's essential to record all important information in your lab notebook from now on. What SDS information should you record in your lab notebook? Select all that apply. In your notebook, it is essential to record at least the hazard identification to understand the risks associated with the chemical. You should also note any special handling methods or procedures for treating chemical exposure. However, there is no need to copy everything from the safety data sheet. That would be a waste of time. Instead, take a few reminders to write down the most important safety reminders during lab preparation. This ensures everyone is aware of the hazards and can work safely together.